All right, everybody, we have the new Ghost of the Deep dungeon. And in this video, we're going to teach you how you can destroy the bosses inside of this new dungeon and one face both of them. Now, this video is going to go on assuming that you know how the actual dungeon mechanics work. It's a dungeon, so they're not too complicated. But without further ado, let us get right into it. Now, for the first boss, Ekthar, the Shield of Savathun, you can easily get away with rockets. Now, if you are going to use rockets, I highly recommend dropping your well at the very far back of the room. Literally just hug the back of the wall and the boss will not do any of this crazy funky business of charging you being really annoying especially inside of a rocket well if this dude's pushing you it can really mess up your damage so if you are going to use rockets for this boss definitely do it at the very far back of the room however you do not need to use rockets for this boss in fact everything that you were just seeing me do here in this clip is totally not needed in steps the legend of Acrius shotgun baby yes the exotic shotgun in a heavy slot is an absolute menace here now let me mention that it is only a true menace in this encounter if you have the catalyst done you need that overflow and more importantly you need the trench barrel that the catalyst gives it if you don't have the catalyst for the shotgun i would not bother with this strat but if you do and you have two teammates who also have it then i would highly recommend this strategy and if you are going to rock this strat i would highly recommend a warlock with the luna faction boots obviously because legend of actrius who that shotgun doesn't have that much range and sometimes the boss can boop you back a little bit which can be annoying and of course having a well to give you a damage buff and keep you alive is very helpful also you're going to need a debuff here of course you are and since all three people would be on legend of acrius tractor cannon is not on the table so the simplest solution is to just go ahead and use a tether i'm using orpheus with a deadfall tether in the clips then i'll throw a weakening grenade and a smoke grenade if we have to to keep him debuffed throughout the entire damage phase and keep in mind your damage phase for this starts as soon as you don't your final vestige you do that nuke the shield knight and then go to work your third fire team member should definitely be on some sort of one-off super something like a thunder crash a gathering storm or even a needle storm and then outside of that there's nothing too crazy you're literally just shooting the boss with your legend of Acrius. Make sure you try and melee between every three shots so you constantly keep trench barrel up and your shotgun's doing 50% more damage. Also keep in mind that you do want to try and aim at his head because it will register for some juicy crit damage. So if you're tired of rockets, Legend of Acrius is an absolute perfect play for this boss fight. All right, now for the final boss, this one can be really annoying because this boss teleports all throughout your damage phase now luckily we can still one phase this boss and keep it simple but we are going to be using field prepping clown hotheads now yes the bait and switch apex predator with reconstruction on a strand hunter or warlock can absolutely go to work but you got to do a good amount of swapping for that for this purpose of this we're keeping it simple so we're only using field prepping clown rockets mainly because our goal here is to just dish out as many rockets as possible bro of course bring a galahorn and then you're definitely going to want to have another one off super since you're going to have a well with luna factions and of course your tether here because you need a debuff we had a gathering storm in this clip which worked like a charm if you are using that though just be real careful you don't miss because this boss does teleport a lot the damage can be a little tight so missing any more than like three rockets is pretty unforgiving but you can still get the job done last thing i want to mention is that breaking any of the boss's shield can be easily done by an arbalist i find it to be really helpful for this final boss fight specifically thank you so much for watching today's video let me know your thoughts and opinions on the new dungeon consider subscribing y'all be safe and we'll see you guys in the next one